Hey guys, last week I showed you how easy it was to use the FX3 straight out of the box. This week I'll show you how to set it up in as few as five steps. Let's dive in. I'm going to assume that you've already unboxed your FX3 and currently have it connected to headphones so as to keep the wife happy. Now it could be time to crack open that manual but only if you want. I'm going to do it for you but I'll put a link in the description. Alright guys, step one. Page three in the manual tells us how to get to the setup menu. You press the home button which will get you to a preset. Press the E knob which is setup. Now use the A knob or the nav buttons to get to any of the sub menus then press the enter button. Step two. We're skipping the FC controller setup. We can get into that later. Go down to Global Settings and hit Enter. There's a lot of stuff here, but most of it works just fine in the default setting. From the top down, first thing is EQ settings for the outputs. You can either choose Graphic or Parametric. I leave it at the Graphic default. Step 3, and guys, this one is a maybe. Next is the Modeling section. This is one of the sections where you might change some of the settings based upon the rig that you use. Power amp modeling. The only time you would set this to off is if you're using a tube amp. Otherwise, just leave it on. Cabinet modeling. Again, the only time you'd turn this off is if you're using a traditional guitar speaker cabinet. Otherwise, just leave it on. Tone control display. Uh, how deep do you want to get? Authentic gives you the same controls that are on the amp that's being modeled. Ideal gives you a lot more options. I leave mine at Authentic. Update Pre 11X preset speaker impedance upon load. Honestly, I'm not even sure that this is even an issue anymore since the factory presets were recently updated. Just leave it at yes. I leave everything in the effects section at the default. Step four, and this is also a maybe. This all depends on what you want to do. This guy right here, display offset. Now, this is a personal preference, but I like my presets to start at one, not zero. I don't start counting at zero, I start counting at one. Again, that's also a maybe though. Okay, step five, one thing you should absolutely check, AC line frequency. Set it to 50 hertz for Europe, 60 hertz for US and Canada. Sorry, the rest of you guys will have to do some research, but those are the two options available. Step six. Okay, now hit exit and go down to the I.O. menu. Hit enter. Okay, there are four pages in this submenu starting with input. Default is 50%. You should check to see if that's right for your guitar. Plug in, turn your guitar up all the way on the loudest pickup and thrash away. Look at the front panel input one meter. It should be just tickling the red. Use the A knob to adjust the signal. Step seven, and this is a maybe. Page over to audio. Most of this can be left alone, but if you're using a mono signal or just one traditional guitar amp and speaker cab, you'll want to change output one mode to either sum left and right or copy left and right. You can hit the exit button. Okay, since this is a basic setup, we don't need to go to the IR capture page or even the MIDI slash remote page. There's one item left in the setup menu and that's the utilities menu. And really there's no need to go there right now either unless you want to adjust your display. Uh, go into the utilities menu, go to the display page and make your changes there. Step eight. Now hit home and you are done with the setup. Woohoo baby that's it. Alright guys, I hope that showed you how easy it was to do the setup. Eight steps total, three of them optional. Not a problem. If you have any questions, leave me a comment down below. I'll look into it, see what I can find out, and get back to you on it.
That way we can all learn this thing together. All right, guys, see you next time.